Hey guys, Tinder Dread, and today we'll be talking about is it worth modifying and keeping your stock OEM motor that comes in your A92, whether it's a 4HEE, uh, a 4AF, or a 4AFE, we'll be talking about whether you should keep and modify it or just go ahead with an engine swap. Now, if you're just tuning in, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more A92 content. Now, without a further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, guys, so you want to modify your A92 engine, I get you. I do too, but is it worth it? Well, we'll get into that right now. Let's go ahead and start with the 4AF and 4AFE. Now those were mainly made for uh, economic purpose and to help you save gas. They were just made for that. So with that being said, they weren't performance oriented. So they didn't have a lot of uh, aftermarket parts or performance oriented parts for that engine. So really all you could really look at for modifying that 4AF is um, doing maybe headers, you could do an exhaust, um, Weber carburetor, um, you could pour and polish the head, but really that's where it stops. The main power you're really gonna make is when you go force induction and boost this engine. Now if you build the engine and boost it, you can make a good amount of power and a lot of people actually seek this route when they want to make power out of the 4AF or 4AFE. So, um, that's the main thing um, in that situation you might want to either go for AGE or engine swap when we go to the 4AGE though as a plethora of parts a lot of aftermarket support especially because of the A86 it gave us a lot of that basically a uh, funnel flow for parts so we get a lot of the parts from them and you could really expect a lot so you can get you know cams you could get uh, adjustable cams you could get headers and an intake manifold cold air intake, um, you could pour and polish the head. There was just a lot that you could do with this and they actually made triple kits more orientated for the A86 like I said, but it was there. So we had a lot to work with, with the 4AGE and you could actually make power out of the 4AGE with parts that made it only, you know, naturally aspirated. So naturally aspirated, you can spend a lot more money trying to make power out of it, but it's a really good feeling, but you can go for induction to make the best and the most of the 4AGE and it's highly recommended. You could just push a lot, especially if you build the bottom end and boost this engine. So definitely recommend boosting this 4AGE. Now, when it comes to both of them, is it entirely just worth it? Like off the bat, should you modify it? Well, SR5, 4AF, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't unless you're boosting it. But other than that, I'd engine swap that, that car for sure. For AGE, if you want to spend the money, definitely go for it. But I'd say spend your money towards, like I said, boosting the engine. That's where you're gonna really make your big gains, your big power. Now, um, if you were to engine swap, what I do recommend, there's two ZZGE swaps. There's um, a 20 valve swap, and there's also a free SGTE swap. The first two were cheaper, the first two swaps are cheaper and the last swap is more expensive. But well, that's another video, we'll get into that. And overall, if you guys still want to modify the A92, I, I definitely still recommend it. You may not push the most power that you're looking for, but it does give it that classy old school vibe, keeping the original motor. It's a good feeling, so don't shame, don't shame yourself for keeping it stock, all right? If you wanted to see more A92 content and you'll enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.